everybody thanks for joining me tonight it's actually well it's the evening it's almost night it is the night of the super moon and we're gonna be doing some fishing throwing this uh jackal creature bait it's called the honey nugget and it is in neon pearl pretty neat i got it rigged up with a 1 8 ounce piece of tungsten thrown on a medium rod with 12 pound line and a two or three aught ewg i think it's a two otter but i'm gonna get it back in the water right now and try to get some fish on all right guys so pretty neat looking bait um i'm really excited to uh, get this in the water i'm thinking more so they're gonna think this is a uh, the bass are gonna think this is some kind of dime bait fish or something rather than a bug or a honey nugget whatever that's supposed to be so i'm just gonna be popping it off the bottom ever so slightly kind of working it slow but reeling up that slack so i can uh keep a uh, tight tighter line just running up and down this rock we got running out here that you can't really see right now because the water level is uh, a bit high so we'll see if that method of fishing it works well it does have a really nice uh, kind of flapping action fluttering action when you do jig it like this way off the back of that rock Good fish, guys. Good fish. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man, is that bass pulling drag? Right. Some pliers for this bad boy. Look at the size of that large, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably, I'm gonna guess, almost three pounds. All right, everybody, check out this beautiful first fish on that it's really, really neat jackal bait. Man, he hit it way out there. I think this is probably what's been busting all those shad. So I'm gonna get her back in the water. We're gonna keep going at it. Just had to show this uh, this old girl off. I'm gonna wait on her real quick. There right, we got zeros. Get her back in. Sweet fish, guys. All right, guys, we've been out maybe 20 minutes. Caught that one fish. Pretty nice. If I didn't see my crazy enthusiastic or talkative there were two people uh standing on the bridge talking to me they're real nice though so, uh, but yeah looking looking like uh even if that's the only fish i catch today it's gonna be a good day but i got a feeling we're gonna be able to get another one on got oof, maybe 45 minutes before uh complete sundown maybe last Good fish. Putting some nice ones on, guys. Alright. This bait is catching some good fish, guys. Try not to get stabbed here. Take a look at that nice large buck. Cool. Look at that coloration, that light coloring on those scales. We're going to uh, grab some pliers right quick. Okay. 
beautiful bass, guys. She's a real pretty one. Absolutely. I'm gonna get her back in now. Had a bit of a difficulty unhooking her. Ah, see you, girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So that's uh, that's two nice bass on the bait. Big fan. Getting a. I'm uh, really enjoying it. <laughs> really enjoying the old bait. Seems to be extremely effective for me. And um, a little more durable than I expected, so that's always good, right? Hey, what's up everybody? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had a great time making it as always. Hope everyone's doing all right out there. So went out early in the morning to do some fishing, man. I almost struck out. I think I caught two tiny little baby bass. It wasn't even worth making a video about. What's up, Marzi Mars? Come on up, say hi. What a good boy. See me talking to the camera, thinks I'm, I'm talking to him. You're a good boy, buddy. You're a good boy. Um, <laughs> anyhow, guys. I was able to get uh, get about an hour before sundown, a little more, went out there. I was probably out there for like an hour and a half and ended up catching a couple really nice fish. So I was really stoked about that, guys. Um, had a good time doing it. Those like two, two and a half plus pounders are kind of scarce this time of year for me in the river. Really, I catch a lot of, can still catch a lot of one pounders, two pounders, but anything more than that is a, is a real blessing. So I was pretty stoked. It is slowly getting cooler. I got a, a couple videos I still have to put out. I haven't edited yet on a disc. Um, about uh, fishing that heat wave so had somewhat decent luck in that y'all see when i put those out but anyhow guys the bait i chose was the man. what you trying to say hmm? this is the jackal honey nugget now jackal is a pretty legit jdm company if you haven't heard of them packaging is really clean real cool looking right it is in a a lot of japanese so I took it out there. It's a three inch bait. Color I chose was neon pearl. That's what it looks like. I knew that would get hit. I knew it mimicked a bait fish kind of, and uh, that's why I chose that more so than, uh, than kind of like a green or something else like that, or a brown uh, kind of classic creature bait stock. I kind of wanted to look like, look like a dime bait fish. Something that could just flop on the bottom. Once I saw the action, I knew I had made the right decision. Uh, so durability wise, plastic was pretty good. I mean, I'd say it's about average. I really like the plastic. I like the action. I like those little appendages flapping around. I mean, that's all right. That's gonna get me a strike, but did I expect to do as well as we did in such a short amount of time? Absolutely not. So I was more than stoked. I'll definitely be throwing this bait again and getting some more Jackal stuff. I do have a couple depth baits, another JDM brand that, uh, have similar coloring that I want to get out there and throw. But anyhow, I rigged it up on a two watt, real easy. You simply just pop it through there to kind of the bend of that hook right there. And we'll slide it right up that shank. And I'm gonna tuck that eye up in that plastic like this. And then right before y'all see this little kind of, kind of bend in the plastic where it gets lighter so this can flap more. I'm gonna go right in front of that and just stuff the hook of that the tip of that hook in there and hook it right in the plastic like that and uh that's how we were we were fishing her and uh i rigged that up with a one eighth ounce pizza tungsten uh tungsten or lead i think i would have done just as good with lead i have a i do have a lot of tungsten because i never fish i'm afraid of snagging and losing it because i've fished some very snaggy areas but i figured what the heck man it's lighter it's smaller let's do it and uh I did not peg that bait either. I kind of just let it flop around and y'all saw how it worked. I just popped my rod up over and over and over again, slowly reeling in that slack and was able to generate a strike like that. I was using my uh, rod up feature on this channel probably more so than any other rod. It's my all time favorite rod ever made and it is a, a DX742 Charlie by Dobbins. Absolutely love it. That's a medium 7.4 rod. 
with a fast action tip. I got that paired with the titanium shell spool and I'll run eight pound cigar fluorocarbon on that. So if I can go lighter, I'll go lighter. Sure, you could throw this on a medium heavy. I could have thrown it on a heavy rod. I knew I could get away with a medium and lighter line. That's what I want to do. I could cast it further. I can feel it better. It's more sensitive. And it's just a lot more fun to fight fish on a lighter rod. So uh, that is why I chose this. Anyhow, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Had a great time making it. I got some other stuff I got to get to edit and got to put out there. But uh, till next time, everybody, take care of yourselves take care of each other and get some good fish on and i highly recommend checking out these jackal creature baits this honey nugget is specific man this could uh this thing does some damage guys this is a pretty legit bait the way it flops around it just got hit it had a real when i jigged that up the motion that it gave me was something else it was it was pretty legit guys i i really really enjoyed fishing it so i'll catch y'all later peace